Hi, do you want to see something disgusting? How about Nikocado avocado uneating food? How about that? Alright, now that I have your attention, it's time to talk about Nikocado Avocado and how he should stop doing the stuff that he's doing. I had a little break, a sabbatical if you will, and then I came back and looked up some of his content and I found a video called Why We Can't Break Up Spicy Cheese Fire Noodles Mukbang and Recipe. 4.7 million people apparently wanted to see Nikocado and his boyfriend Orlin and why they can't break up. I feel like every single video they do is a video on why they either do break up or don't. It's like a soap opera with eating. The other thing that you need to know about Nikocado is that he is just a bigger and bigger person and I don't mean personality but that's also big. He's just a very very extravagant man and he likes eating extravagant food. Nothing wrong with that. In fact, I find him very entertaining. The problem is the tactics that he uses otherwise to get views. Stuff like baiting the audience into things like why we can't break up, things like DA, a lot of screaming, fighting, a lot of name calling, weirdly stuff like him saying he's poor when he's very much not. And, and you know, many other things that Nikocado uses to uh, get audience to feel that shock value into watching him. If you look at the like to dislike ratio, it's abysmal every single time and most of the comments are quite... <laughs> but he doesn't seem to mind because he's getting that shmoneys. So today I'm going to take a look at this video. I had to cut it down from an hour to like 15 minutes. So, you know, you can thank me by subscribing. Yeah, I actually watched an hour of them doing that. Uh, also, Orlin's always uh, great in these videos. He hits these zingers every time on Nikocado, and I just thought I'd take them down. But yeah, let's take a look at this video. Nope, I wanna, I wanna quit. Man, I bet if Nikocado and Orlin smell better, they wouldn't have these problems. Speaking of smelling good, I smell good right now. I wish you could sniff me through the screen. But you're just gonna have to take my word for it. And that all happens to be thanks to Scentbud, today's sponsor of our video. Scentbud is a fragrance subscription that lets you choose a new design of fragrance every month for just $17. You get to pick out exactly which scents you want. There's no surprises. Isn't it the best compliment ever when someone goes out of their way to tell you you smell good? With so many fragrances on the market and with some costing over $150, it's hard to shop around for what scent you like or find your signature scent without committing to a full size bottle or what smells good on your body. Cause as we know, scents can change based on the person wearing it. And those little perfume inserts you can find in magazines, they just don't cut it. Scentbird offers tons of perfumes, colognes and unisex options and each vial has a 30 day supply. How practical. Just look at the size compared to a department store sample. They carry brands like Prada and Gucci and even indie labels. I received a few to try out. Musk therapy. I mean, you could smell like Elon minus the bullions. So just you could smell like a guy. Dime number one was definitely my favorite. It would be perfect for a date night in my opinion. And Clinique Happy For Men isn't my favorite of the three, but doesn't smell bad by any means. That's the magic of Scentbud, getting to try different options and finding out what you like. This company is reimagining how you can discover, shop for, and experience fragrances. And you can really express yourself through fragrances. So I'm so here for it. If you want to check them out, you'll be directly supporting my channel. So use my code 16LEO to get 55% off your first month at Scentbud. It's just a little over $7 for your first month and available in the USA and Canada. Thanks, Scentbird, for the sponsorship. Check out the links below. No. It's not a bouncy castle, Nick. It's a, it's a mobility scooter. <laughs> uh, come on, man. What is he wearing? Why does he constantly dress like he's a wiggle that has outgrown his like outfit? I don't understand why his pants are high riding. My guy, please. There's a lot of skin to be shown. This is not only fans. This is Walmart. Ramen noodles. These are extra noodles for extra calories, for extra checks. Oh, you know it's Walmart when you look at the noodles and instead of having a pack like this, it's a pack like that. You also know it's Walmart when Nikocado Avocado can do stuff like this, act 
absolutely crazy and nobody in the store even bats an eye. That's how you know you're at a Walmart. When everyone else is like, oh, that's pretty normal actually. Five dollars a pack. Who can afford this food? It's a 12 pack. I'm sorry. Five dollars for 12 noodles. It's not that expensive, dude. Nobody's eating like 48 packs. Usually, nobody's eating 48 packs. Normal appetites aren't, okay? You have like camel stomach. You just got many. That's too many noodles is what I'm saying. Discrimination. These should have a coupon at least so people can survive. No senses. <laughs> I'm hypnotized by the belly. Very disturbed, but also hypnotized at the same time. I'm hypnotubbed. There's nothing to eat. I can't afford these. No one can afford nothing. And it's your people's faults. This guy's on OnlyFans, by the way. I keep forgetting that this guy has an OnlyFans. And, you know, imagine seeing him at Walmart on a mobility scooter being like, Damn, I like that ass. That's, that's a nice ass. It's, it's good, Nick. Good. I'm glad you're getting that money and get yourself a cameo where I'll make a special video just for you. Wouldn't be a Nikocado video if at the start he didn't advertise this cameo, which I did buy, by the way. It was way too much money, but I'll tell you what, it was a good cameo. I'll give him that. Is it worth it? No, but I did pay for it. So Nikocado, I am one of your biggest fans. I even have your merch. Excuse me. This is why America's going down the tubes. All these thieves. There's no more, nothing on the shelves. This is supposed to have ramen noodles with chase. Walmart probably removed their stock because they knew you were coming. This dude, man. The things that he does for views, really, he's... I, I don't know whether to applaud him or be disgusted. I'm like sickeningly impressed at the lengths that he will go to to get these views. I don't even know if these videos get money because he'll go on later in the video to say that lots of his videos are not advertiser friendly. I don't know if that's true. I can't tell what's a lie and what's not. This man exaggerates everything. But I know one thing, that mobility scooter needs help. Bananas because no one likes bananas. Oh my god, so he went like all the way past the food aisles, now he's eating nails and other various assortment of things because he ate all the food. I'm not sure why he's in like the hardware aisle, but I assume he's eating nails and tiles and shit now. Abandoned cart. Uh, this turns into a movie at this point. Like, I know the video was called Why We Can't Break Up Mukbang, uh, but the start is like a scene from The Fast and the Furious. I'm sorry, The Fat and the Furious. He finds another abandoned mobility scooter because at Walmart, there's a lot of these. And then he tries to hijack one. It's, <laughs> it's like San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto, and he's CJ. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Oh, by the way, the mobility scooter is not working, so he has to make that maneuver back into his scooter which is just a painful process. Some old lady passed away and she, her corpse vanished into air like farts. I don't, that's a quotable. I don't even understand what I just heard. Some old lady just vanished into thin air like farts. He didn't even say vanish correctly. The cholesterol got to him or something. He said vanished. But when the world needed him most, he vanished. Oh man. All right, Nick. I know more about nutrients than you think. Nikocado at this point proceeds to give us a lesson on nutrients because he knows more about nutrients than us. Him giving you advice on nutrients is like a bald dude giving you advice on the best haircut to get. So these vegetables. Oh, <laughs> a little coma right there, buddy. The what? These vegetables? Is that what you said? Did you hate them that much? I don't eat vegetables. Because vegetables are bad for my body. Oh my god, I feel like he's having an actual stroke. The way that he said any of these, the way that he's enunciating things. I don't eat these vegetables. I don't like them. It sounds like he needs a, a doctor. These are toxic. This leads to arthritis, diabetes, inflammation, gut microbiome issues, IBS. Oh, you BS, all right. I'm. 
I ain't lying about that. Microbiodome syndrome. Oh, man. Cataclysmic events. All these Hubble after effects. Man, that's crazy, bro. They should not be selling this in stores. They should be manufacturing this for evil. This is kryptonite. Superman should get rid of this right now. Damn. Who knew that the way to health was McDonald's. Uh, he then proceeds to eat everything in the food aisle and then goes to the clothing aisle, I presume, to start eating the sweaters and t-shirts there. I'm really not sure if we're going on an excursion with this man. This is like the magic school bus, except it's like a nightmare. I, I don't know, Miss Frizzle fucked up real bad, man. Please let this be a normal field trip with a friend. No way! Oh. Cruising on that main street. Ah! Jesus. I don't, I don't know what he's doing, man. You know, security would have been looking at this man because he's walking around with like someone filming him on a mobility scooter. At some point, security would have been like, Shh. "Uh, the guy in a crop top and no pants. Uh, is he? Is he a threat?" Uh, no, he's he's doing he's doing that. I don't. I think it's I think it's all right. He's maybe maybe call a doctor. He then breaks his America flag and gets angry at the audience, presumably, and then the video starts. Because that was the intro. This is more confusing than Christopher Nolan's latest films. I just, I don't understand what amateur hour cinema this is. Maybe it's too big brain for me, actually. I just wanted to see why they couldn't break up right now. I have a pretty good reason of why they can break up. Everything that I just saw in the intro. Anyway, Nikocado then proceeds to make his famous mukbang recipe, noodles with cheese. This is a recipe. And I'm a professional. I actually look skinny today, don't I? <gasps> what? Especially if I roll my shoulders back. Watch. I learned from an anorexic girl. She says you go. Nope. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> That's not appropriate. I lost my pounds. I lost my pounds. And I lost my pounds. Yeah, Nikocado then gets really happy that he lost five pounds by doing this. I... I don't know the science behind even the mental gymnastics you have to do to think that's even correct. I'm not sure how he's been on YouTube so long and constantly succeeding. I thought by now, maybe it was just me, but I thought his shtick off eating would uh, not be as appeasing in this day and age. But apparently it's more successful than ever. And I gotta say, I guess kudos to him that he's managing to find an audience. Every time I show these videos to my friends, they say it must be feeders. Feeders? It's a thing where people like seeing people eat and get fat, it's like a fetish. So Nikocado might be filling a, a sexual void for some, which is just mind boggling. Not that I don't find him very sexy, he's so beautiful, but you know what I mean? This video might be more than just what it is. It's could be just eating, but now it's more than that. And it has ulterior motive, which is just very, very weird. Comment down below if I look cute. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna get beat. You can't just say, can you just say that? Can you just, <laughs> can people do that? It's just like, <laughs> I'm gonna get beat up. I, wait, why? What, what do you mean? What? I'm sorry. I completely zoned out there. I just saw the stick of butter and I was like, whoa, that's not going to go down well. Him and Orlin, they play fight on camera. And it's probably the biggest problem that I have with Nikocado's content is they perpetuate the stereotype of a constantly arguing couple. And it's not like a sitcom. This is uh, supposed to be their reality television. It blurs the lines between entertainment and what's real. So it makes it very hard for younger people who are watching him to distinguish if this is healthy or not. And while he himself himself is not necessarily the most healthy person. Him also portraying a relationship like this, when in fact it's not like that, is probably damaging to people. And that's where a lot of people seem to maybe want to watch because they like the drama, but at the same time, it might be damaging the younger audiences. And I know damn well, there's no 50 year olds like, I, I want to see what Nikocado's eating today. Oh, uh, we care about you. Uh, get a life. No one cares about me, no one ever has, and no one ever will. I've come to accept that. <laughs> oh, that's a mood. Um, but no, people do care about you. Whether you choose to believe that or not is <laughs> up to you, dude. But people actually care about you. And there's a fine line between people saying, you are a fatty, and people saying, hey, your weight might be a significant problem for your own health in the future. And you have to distinguish the line because 
it's important to do so. You're just a character. I'm not a character. It's called having mental disease. It's called not taking medications. It's called being up and down and all around. You can't just throw that out there, can you? Damn, Nikocado's really teaching me things today. I'm gonna start eating noodles and then, you know, no, I can't do that, but... My goodness, I didn't know that you could just say that or claim that without any substantiating evidence. That seems like a wild thing to do. I, pfft, mental illness. Dude, you just parked your car on top of mine. Pfft, mental illness. That seems like a get out of jail free card. People always come for me. You need to get healthy. And you need to mind your beeswax. Mind your beeswax. Yeah. Negocado constantly not wanting help or to get healthier is a staple of his channel because maybe he fears that if he does get healthy that nobody would watch the video. In fact, I have some evidence to prove that. He did a video in which people positively reacted to it. Absolutely positively. It's a video called Eating Vegan or We're Going Vegan or something like that where him and Orlin eat vegan food. And people loved the video. It got overwhelmingly positive reviews. The problem was it got 130,000 views as opposed to this video, which is them looking like a hot mess, eating a hot mess of food, being big blobs, got 4.7 million views. So clearly uh, his audience is like, I want to see you get wrecked. And because he knows this and because he caters to his audience, it seems like he's in a spiral that he got caught in. And it's really sad. And uh, I always wish he could get out of it if he wanted to, or at least have the option to. I'm not saying that he has to. If this is what he likes, that's what he likes. But uh, yeah, it makes me a little sad sometimes seeing that. Am I sorry for him? No, no, no. <laughs> this is a man. I'm going to make more than that because I'm disabled. Yeah, I mean, technically, uh, apparently, if you're over a certain weight in America, you can be considered disabled because you're not fully able to do things. But you have to be morbidly obese and have a BMI of over 30. But apparently, if you are obese or morbidly obese, that alone won't qualify you for disability benefits. So Nikocado just being a big Teletubby times four doesn't necessarily qualify him to say that he's disabled. But, you know, we've seen him, I've done the video on him claiming this. His victim complex is just every single thing is used for views and to make the audience feel guilty somehow i would love the handicapped parking thing 400 pounds in america qualifies as disabled because you're not fully able to. it's science <laughs> it's science dude come on <laughs> 300 pounds if you look like the moon then you are the moon that's just science people well that's so offensive how is it offensive there's a lot of people who are so overweight they can't do so yeah but it's sort of like the homer simpson episode in the simpsons where he gained a lot of weight so he could work from home and i don't necessarily think he got qualified for disability but whenever you're you know looking at the Simpsons for uh, advice and to think that Homer Simpson is ever doing things that are good ideas, you know that you're on the wrong path to life at that point when Homer and you are on the same level. Boy, everyone is stupid except me. What do you need besides weight loss surgery? I need the book. Ah, finally, six minutes into the video, my boy Orlin Holm comes in. Love his last name, Holm. I wish I could go there. An enlargement of your pickle. <laughs> Wow, he's been here like five seconds. He's already made a small dick joke at his own uh, husband, boyfriend's expense. Nice, good zinger. My pickle's just fine and dandy. I need- Not really. I need- No one asked you. It's in lost and found at Walmart, right next to your neck. Nice. This is, um, honestly, this is a roast of Nikocado at this point. They should just have him on the thumbnail with like a roast turkey and his face there. Do you need another stick of butter so you can get fatter? I do like how uh, Nikocado and Orlin are probably the same weight, but Orlin constantly calls him fat. It's just very, very funny to me that Orlin <laughs> has like unlimited fat jokes towards uh, someone who's probably the same size as him. That's, that's gold, in my opinion. I love cheese, da -da. That's butter. I love cheese. I feel like uh, when you need to hit the one hour mark and you don't have like anything else to do, you just start singing. Maybe I should start doing that. Mm -ah, ooh, comedy. <laughs> that should do it. Now this is gonna make me very ill, but I don't care. <laughs>
pretty much the motto of Nikocado. This is gonna make me ill, but I don't really care. Also, that is the most disgusting recipe looking thing I've ever seen. Presentation matters when you're cooking, my dude. My goodness, what is that? It looks like sewer water, bro. Keep the door open, please. Okay! <laughs> okay! <laughs> Oh man, I, w I would love to sit down and have dinner with these two Teletubbies. I'd really like to see how they are in real life. Cause they're not like this. These are two very exaggerated versions of them. I would like to see both versions just to see the difference. There's no poor Nick. There's just not. I mean, I am poor. I'm a lot poorer than people think. Ah, okay. So Nick Okado then says that he's really poor. And you know, I, I hate to do this, but like it says that his net worth is $7 million. <laughs> I don't know what's true or what's not because these things are often fake but my goodness if that's you being poor what are we <laughs> damn Nick all that noodles and all that food that you buy every single day to put your body through I don't know I'm not advertiser friendly it's okay a job is a job and I'll take what I can get. Is he advertiser friendly? Can anybody um, who watches his videos verify that down below? Tell me if he has ads on his channel. Cause I don't know, He's he pushes hard with the cameo and he pushes really hard with his merch. He could be right, I could be wrong. This could be very unsuitable content for most people. I don't know. But what I do know is that looks like a, a nightmare egg gone wrong. So please, please just, End that. End whatever cooking that is and just eat it. Cause I can't bear to look at it. Let's make sure this is the right stuff. <laughs> oh, whoa. He's having them flashbacks, them non flashbacks right there. He was like, ooh. I ate five avocados for dinner tonight. The vitamins and minerals will feed my hair, my skin, my brain, and my blood. I used to be thin. Damn, he really had those non flashbacks when tasting that sauce. I don't know what that is. Ooh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Exorcism as well. Um, didn't think that the video would be scary at any point, but he finally makes the noodles and they look like they've been through a lot. Uh, just cheesed up and also buttered up calorie infused noodles. This is the bee's knees for people who want to just get Keep that there at the bottom. Bottoms go in the bottoms. Takes a bottom to know a bottom. I'm not a bottom. Uh, I used to be. It's a mental image I didn't need. Cause, cause now, cause now all I'm thinking about is Nick Okado, you know, doing this at the start of the video and him being at the bottom. On the bottom, Paige. Hey, listen you were here, good. America. I'm waiting for you Stop. to be great. Ugh. Okay. Say you're so poor, ask for more. That's society these days. And it really makes me angry because I've seen actual poor people like me. It's not hard to find them. Also very offensive because you're not poor. You're a millionaire. That's kind of offensive to say to people who really struggle and need to eat ramen noodles or whatever to get by and survive. Meanwhile, you bought a hundred thousand packs, stuffed it with cheese and then butter and whatever million other things that you do. Very offensive. Ugh. I like you, Nick. I like you, but you say some mm, stuff. I've lived all over the world, everybody. That you can't say that. Okay. I'm so poor, I live all over the world. I'm so poor, I, I lived in a hundred countries that I'm so poor. Most poor people, most, I can vouch for this, don't have the ability to just travel. M most poor people don't say that they're poor while on camera to millions of people making money, eating nine packs of noodles with cheese and unlimited butter. We leave it here to mount. That seriously, that looks like uh, if you go to the depths of hell, even they would be like, that's uh, that's too much. It looks like a Travis Scott album cover, man. What the hell? Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Correction, that is the thing that you see when you go to hell. My goodness, love them lips, boy. Those are some juicy DSLs right there. Good, good for you. Thanks for blowing the camera. Thank you. Yeah, the food's so disgusting, it actually moved. I caught it in slow motion moving. So I think he created new life just by making this weird cheese amalgamation of shit. Even the food wants to leave. But your feet stink, that's even worse. I showered, unlike you. You don't know how to shower. I feel like that couple's therapist needs a vacation every day or after every session. What a weird argument to have with your partner. What a what a weird manufactured conflict that these two are having. They're dressed like men in black. They should be doing the... 
at the end of the video so we forget about it. How do you think I got my hair like this? Grease? Uh, shh, stop. Ah! Yeah, so, you know, this is sort of the issue that constantly mocks like the problem with Nikocado videos is that this perpetuating thing that like if you do something or you say something that another person doesn't like you do that to them and of course like his younger more impressionable audience will see this and think it's real uh, most people who are old enough are like that's just an act and that's fine it's entertainment but it's not an action movie it's people doing mukbangs and so a lot of people would get disillusioned this is my problem with the channel i would appreciate or hope that like this doesn't happen like maybe they can argue and scream maybe that's the most they can do but like getting physical and then nikocado reacting in that sense is just gonna leave a lot of people confused and thinking that it's okay to do that smile at least just act like you're I actually slaved away making this and I paid for it. So you actually should be happier. You want me to fake it like I fake it when we're in bed? I remember thinking, I'm about to beat this bitch up. Wow. Okay. <sighs> Awkward. <laughs> Just came for a mukbang. Not a bang session where you talk about your sex life. These came all the way from Walmart. Well, that's where you came from. Got him? Is that is that a zinger? Is that a I don't know. Feels like Nikocado could have came from Walmart. Fully picture that happening. I don't know if that's necessarily a wrong statement. That might be accurate. I'm sorry, everyone. I know everyone's here for me anyway. We're just here to see if you got fatter. Well, that's a truth bomb right there, isn't it? That is about 90% of the audience. Every time they come to see whether the balloon has more air in it. This was the nice Walmart, at least. And I did have a scooter because the lady, she, she was really nice because she was saying you shouldn't even have a scooter. I'm like, excuse me, lady, just because I might be younger doesn't mean I also don't need extra help. And she honestly was discriminating me and I almost called the police, but then... <laughs> Ouch! Stop being annoying! Stop! What am I watching at this point? I just, I just, I feel like I'm in some weird fever dream at this point. I just listened to a man say that a woman is nice because she lent him her mobility scooter, but then he wanted to call the cops on her. And in the middle of the sentence, he started crying because he couldn't open a bottle. And then his partner smacked him up and then he smacked his partner. This is like, it turned from a weird screenplay into a drama movie, into WWE. I kind of want, I like the hard parts. Probably because you're always soft. <laughs> oh, more penis jokes. <laughs> I probably would get these references more if I had his only fans. <laughs> This is purely for the kids. This is purely for the kids watching after school when they're like, Ew, Nikocado is back with another video. Oh my God, look at his face. Stop, it. Stop being annoying, you fool. It is a fever dream. This is this is an actual fever dream. I, I never seen someone make the face, then get slapped up and then call someone else a fool. And it has no effect on Orlin. This is doing no damage to him. He's heard this a million times, but... <laughs> Has anybody ever orgasmed while eating food? Not the way Nikocado has. I'm about to come up. I just, I, this is, a, this is a nightmare. You're gonna get it tonight. Not from you. Pumba. The mukbangs with Nikocado are never about the actual mukbangs. It's about everything surrounding them. The presentation is the thing that we come here for. The zingers from Orlin, the constant battles that these two have, like their uh, competitors at Yu-Gi-Oh. That's just the audition for a joker or something. I've, I've never seen a smile that wide before. This video is 35% scary. Scare, Scareopolis. He had an exorcism halfway through the video, now he's smiling, and this is gonna be imprinted in my head the whole night. At any given point in any Nikocado video, you will hear him cry five to ten times, and at least 20% or maybe even 40% of those times are unreasonable. I don't even know what happened there. He just felt like crying and he's crying with a mouth full of noodles. Again, it looks like something out of a horror movie and it sounds like something out of Fast and the Furious. But it's because he, I'm speaking. The Korean ladies were discriminating me. 
and saying that I don't do mukbang right. Well, you don't. Most of the mukbang that you had here was you riding around in a scooter and also just screaming at your partner and playing WWE with him. Like, just look at the food. 90% of it is still there. You did it wrong, Nick. Of course you're doing it wrong. The Korean people are right. A fat cat. A piece of shit. Don't give a fuck. And I took notes and I informed you and you're being disrespectful on my channel. Ooh, you get hit that coma yet again. You missed out a couple letters. And you are a dis respectful piece of shit respectful is just the word that you say when you don't have time and you ate some of the vowels mm. so good. i don't think you're very smart. smarter than you are no you're not smarter than you no, are. You're no you're not, you're not. i didn't Bah. Are you smarter than I am? I am a lot smarter than you. The way you give yourself that beauty through is so smart. Whoop! That's not really a zinger. That's just a very harsh truth bomb. When your partner just straight up says, "Why'd you give yourself diabetes?" and you answer it, this video is just this is like Titanic level tragic. Shh! You don't bring up Hammy. Hamber is the one that made you get this fat. She's been. Fired. Oh yes, sorry. Nikocado then says that his nutritionist got fired because the nutritionist made him fat. So before the nutritionist, he was actually skin and bones, really. He looked like Wiz Khalifa, but now he looks like Wiz Khalifa ate Rick Ross and Mark Henry and lots of other people, even DJ Khaled. She told me I had to do all these things in moderation, intuitive eating, blah, 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 and I got fatter than ever. So, you know, again, Nikocado's advice, if you want to get thin, don't go on a diet. Don't go on Jenny Craig. Don't go on Noom. Don't eat vegetables. Eat this. You'll end up really thin and beautiful and sexy. And what, what did he say? Five pounds lighter as long as you keep your arms like this. So you can always look like you're questioning people. Oh. You're being very annoying today. Are you gonna march into a church and hit all the people praying to Jesus? Jesus or Jesus, because that's not what's happening here. I don't think you're praying, you're just praying on your food by eating it. I don't think that this and church are the same. Oh, that sounds funny, because you do March of the Penguin every day when you waddle in the house all day long. Listen, don't look at me, Nick. This, you married it. I don't know what that was. Just another zinger from Orlin who just can't miss any opportunity to call his fat partner fat while he's sitting there being fat too. I have good presentation, good speaking voice, good enunciation, good thumbnails. Okay, yeah, actually, I gotta be honest, your thumbnails have been absolutely uh, despicable. I mean, if I look at your thumbnails on your channel, most of it is you face eating Orlin and him doing it back and most of your titles are the same and you somehow seem to be garnering audience because they s somehow think that this time it'll be different so kudos to you for winning the youtube game as usual i can't ever fault you on that but i can try and fault you on everything else in the ethical way that you do it high cholesterol that's not why people watch me you're an idiot and because i'm attractive <laughs> <laughs> that was real that was a real reaction <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 you can't fake that reaction. Damn. Out of all the zingers, that was the most honest, true, and probably painful. You don't know how to eat? I'm explaining to you. If you shut your mouth... It's like two toddlers who just don't know how to communicate, so they deal in... This is supposed to be a peaceful mukbang. I'm supposed to understand why you guys can't break up, but everything is pointing to why you should. How many noodles can you ingest without, you know doing something stupid how many times do you have to eat noodles and then watch it pass through your toilet do you poop noodles nikocado does it just come out as noodles is it like that spaghetti machine where you put the thing in and you do this then spaghetti comes out of your bum <laughs> is that i just gotta know i have an extra bone on my back it's very hard for me to hold up my back I guess at this point in the video orlin says that he needs an extra bone to hold up his back which is the weirdest way to say that I'm overweight I've ever heard but he gets annoyed and he leaves he also leaves by throwing water on Nikocado Orlin it's cold of course this leads him to cry as usual like a big baby 
but not that kind. Oh, people say that about me. Oh, Nikocado, your brain, you've gotten really crazy since when you first started YouTube. It's all the junk, all the chemicals, all the food diet, all the fried. Yeah, I mean, look, maybe they have a little merit to what they're saying. I don't know if it's necessarily true, but eating like this every single day can't be that healthy for you. And I don't even mean physically. I'm talking about mentally at this point. How long can you possibly keep this up? It's 2023 now. Like, you know, in a few years, are you still going to be doing these Olympic eating? challenges or are you gonna throw in the towel so to speak what's your backup plan do you have some other stuff saying this is someone who cares and if you don't when you stop eating are people gonna stop watching and how are you gonna then make a living just food for thought that you shouldn't eat and I'm actually really miserable because I have no one in my life Everyone on the, uh, on the internet hates me. I try making friends and they're not actually friends I have nobody and I'm just the laughing stock and I'm stuck with this monster and what's the freaking point? Hi, it's me. I'd like to thank all my patrons. <sighs> that's how the video ends. That, that's how the video ends. He says that he has no friends and he has no one and he's the laughing stock and he's sad and... And then the video just ends and then he thanks his patrons. I swear to God, he's like a movie maker and he's like the Darren Afronofofofsky of movies. He can't, it's just sad movies. Requiem for a Dream is his life. Just every ending of his video is constantly sad. At no point did he address why they couldn't break up. He lied to me, but of course he lied to me. I knew that was gonna happen, but I didn't think it was gonna get so real at the end. And the thing is, I don't even know if he's lying or not. That's the thing with Nikocado. It's because I can tell when he's being inauthentic. I can tell when he's joking around, when he's overacting, when he's doing those ah! when he's jiggling his belly like he doesn't care, okay? Great, you're acting, you're pretending, you're doing this for entertainment. But it's those little nuggets of truth, like when Orlin said, people just come to watch you to see how fat you are, if you've gained weight. Did I lie? Did I lie? He's not wrong. And at the end, when Nikocado said that he's the laughing stock, maybe he feels like he doesn't have anyone, or maybe he's ostracized from the community of YouTube, I don't know. But it seems sad i don't know if somewhere deep down it's true because it's like the comedian thing there's a lot of pain behind a comedian that's why they try and make people laugh because they say great comedians feel that great sorrow and they don't want other people to feel it so i don't know what nikocado's feeling but at the same time this video started with him on a mobility scooter jiggling his fat Okay, so I don't know how sorry I'm allowed to feel for this man. At the end of the day, Nikocado Avocado is still the same person that he always was. He probably won't change as long as the audience doesn't change and constantly feeds him views. And he will feed his audience back with content and his lazily done mukbangs. I don't know what to do except... <sighs> Put my money where my mouth is and eat like him for a week, which is what I'll be doing in the next video. I hope to learn something from this and maybe if I gain five pounds, I can do this and then lose them. Until then, please take care of yourself, love your partner, and if you don't have one, get a mobility scooter and start jiggling your flab around. You're guaranteed to find someone. If Nikocado can do it, so can you. All right, take care. I'm out.